In my first video derivatives, we started with a simple equation called s equals 16t squared. Well, s and t, these variables here, didn't like to be s and t anymore, so they took off their t-shirts that said s and t on there, and they put on different t-shirts. And s put on the y t-shirt, and t put on the x t-shirt. Now the thing is that the number 16 didn't want to be appearing as number 16 anymore, so it put on a t-shirt that said the letter A. So y equals ax squared is the same as s equals t, 16tx squared. y representing s, a representing 16, and x here re representing t. Okay, So basically this equation here is the same as this equation here. Now, in the, in the original equation that we had, we said that S5 was a certain number of feet traveled during a period of 5 seconds. In this case, I think it was 400 feet, if I recall correctly. Anyway, S5 became a representation of that 400 feet. All right. So we started out with an initial value. We said that in that particular equation, the ball had dropped already 400 feet from second 1 to second 5. It had already dropped 400 feet. That's called an initial value. We're going to start with an initial value. We said 400 feet. Okay? And then we said that the ball continued to drop another set of feet. So we have an initial value and then we have an additional value we're going to add to it. All right, And in these derivative equations, we're going to have an initial value, and we're going to have an additional value that we're going to add to it. All right. So, we're going to start using subscripts again. The subscripts in this case are going to represent numbers that we start out with. 400 feet, 5 seconds. Okay? 400 feet, represented by y1, Remember, we said that the ball had already dropped 400 feet. X1 represents 5 full seconds. It took 5 full seconds for the ball to drop from the very top of the building down 400 feet. It took 5 seconds to do that. So we are starting with an initial value. Y1 is 400 feet. X1 is 5 seconds. So, if we have Y equals AX squared, we're going to replace the y and the x here with initial values. We could have replaced y and x with uh, uh, 2 and 3, as far as that's concerned. We could, have represent, we could have replaced y and x with actual numbers. In this case, we're going to say there's an initial value. y1 and uh, x1 here are representative of initial values that we start out with in the equation. Okay, so... Here we've got 400 feet plus an additional amount of feet that the ball has dropped since the fifth second. And of course we have A here, which will represent the 16. We have X1, which is the 5. And we have the delta X here, which is uh, a period of time past the fifth second. Remember, time moves perpetually forward. After you have passed five seconds, you're going to go to second number six, second number seven, second number eight, so on and so forth. So this is an additional amount of time past the fifth second. This is the fifth second, and we're going to add a little more time to it. We don't know if it's going to be a tenth of a second, or a half a second, or a full second, or two whole seconds, or whatever. It doesn't matter how much time we add to that fifth second. We are going to add more seconds to the fifth one. And that's what that delta x there was going to represent. Now, of course, we can solve out the equation like we did in derivatives part four, so on and so forth. But now you're getting the basic idea. Anytime you represent a number with delta, which is that triangle that I showed you, you are saying we're going to add an additional m amount to what you already have. Now we can also subtract as well as add. 
Okay, so if you're subtracting delta x, you're subtracting an additional amount from whatever you had. So you had five seconds, we're going to subtract like three seconds off of that. You could have said, all right, we have five minus delta x. Okay, so five minus three. So all delta is is pretty much a variable that says we're going to, this is an amount of whatever that we're changing based on the original value. Okay? And hopefully this is all becoming very, very clear to you. Uh, I will continue this in a future video, so stay tuned.